Okay, let's take a look at our ulna. Okay, again, the ulna is easily identifiable because we have this big, giant, C-shaped thing with almost like a hammer end to it. That's the proximal epiphysis of the ulna. Distal epiphysis is going to end just like the distal epiphysis of the radius. It's going to end in this little point called the styloid process. Okay? So, when I look at this proximal epiphysis and I see this big C-shaped thing, this bony knob is called my olecranon process. And that's what you think of as your elbow when you bang your elbow on the table. That's the olecranon process. This area, the inside scoop of the C, is referred to as the trochlear notch. And the trochlear notch is going to attach or articulate with the trochlea of the humerus. Remember, the trochlea is also referred to as the medial condyle. Then when I look at this inferior sticky out thing right here, kind of look from an anterior view, and I've got the sticky out thing right there. That now is your coronoid process. Again, keep your spelling in check. I've got a coronoid here in the scapula. I have a coracoid. In the mandible, I have a coronoid. This is the sticky up thing. This is your coronoid process. When we get to the oh, when we get to the humerus, you'll find the receptacle for this coronoid process, and we'll call that later the coronoid fossa. So a lot sounds the same, looks the same, and some words even are spelled the same. Make sure you have your act together for the practical. And then when I look at the lateral aspect of the proximal epiphysis, I see this little fossa right there, this little attachment for the head of the radius. And what's going to happen is that radial head is going to work its way in there, and that's where the pivot rotation is going to take place at the proximal radial ulnar joint. So this little depression then is referred to as the radial notch. If the radial notch fits the radius and the radius is lateral, then I must be looking at now a right ulna. Okay, so get your bearings and name what you see. When I look at the inferior aspect of the ulna, the inferior aspect ends in this expansion that we call the head. Now that's different than the radius. The head of the radius is proximal. The head of the ulna is distal. But both bones end in this sticky out thing called the styloid process. So a quick review of the ulna then. I've got my olecranon process, my trochlear notch, my coronoid process, my radial notch, my styloid process, and the head of the ulna. Okay, and there you go.